Hello friends and welcome to this crochet tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make the Dalmatian plushie or keychain. The reason why I say or is because using the same pattern you can use any kind of yarn that you would like to make this particular uh, project. The keychain version has our keychain on it. It is made with doubled worsted weight yarn and it is approximately two and a half inches tall and it has a little tail. I like the cute little ears that hang straight out. This is a no-sew project. The same with our plushie. He has his little tail. I think you'll find it very fun and your kids will love it as well. Well, maybe you will. So come join me and we will make this project together. Our Dalmatian, either plushie or keychain. So the materials and the tools that we're going to be using are, if you plan to make a keychain, you need the plastic hooks and the ball key. Uh, the ball chain. You can find these in AliExpress or Amazon or even your local craft store. They do come in a box or a bag of about a 510. The ones I ordered from AliExpress had 200 each, so 200 hooks and 200 different covered ball chains. We'll use a stitch marker, a tapestry needle to close the bottom up, for our doubled worsted weight, I use a 4.5 crochet hook, a pair of scissors. The colors that I'll be using is black and white. For this particular project, I am making the keychain version. You'll notice that in another video I did with an axolotl, I did it in a plushy version. For the keychain version, we're using 10 millimeter safety eyes. These have a backing on it. If you plan to make the plushy version, we use 16 millimeter safety eyes. As you can see here, I have doubled my worsted weight yarn. This helps make it so that the body is a little bit more firmer, especially for keychain use, and there's less likely the, the stuffing being shown through the stitches. If you do plan to do the plushy version, all you need is one strand of the blanket yarn or whatever yarn you're using and the hook accordingly, according to package directions. To join uh, the two yarns together, you can take the outside of the skein and the inside of the skein and wind it up into a ball as such. I plan on making many. This is the reason why the ball of yarn is so big. Otherwise, it's a great scrap project. So let's begin. We're going to start off with a short tail. Let's wrap it around our fingers. We're going to start off with a magic circle. Go under the first, the outside, pull the under, twist it just a little bit, and then with your working yarn, pull it through that twisted loop that was on your hook and complete a chain. If your tail is twisted like mine, let's pull it out. Okay, so we're going to start off with eight single crochets into our magic circle. To do a single crochet, yarn through the center of the magic circle, pull up a loop from the other side, and yarn over through the two loops on our hook. We have completed one single crochet. Let's move on. Here's number two. Three four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. After completing your single crochets, the hand you hold your hook in, pinch your stitches, not tightly, but just enough to hold them, and then take our tail and let's pull it shut. If you pull it a little harder, you can feel it lock in, okay? But don't pull it too hard that it will cause your yarn to break. Okay, the last stitch did get stretched out a little, so let's tighten it up just a little bit. Now, to make sure that we start in the right one, because we did skip a first chain, let's count back eight stitches. So here at the top we have our V stitches. Those are the top of the single crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, our eighth one is right here. Let's insert our hook through the top of that V or the top of our single crochets. Pull our yarn through. Now just this first one's going to be a little tight because we tightened up our magic circle. So pull that loop through, yarn over through the two on the hook and we've completed our single crochet into the first of this next round. Let's take out our stitch marker and go ahead and mark that stitch using that top V. This starts our new row. We will be working in a spiral. The next stitch, we will place two single crochets. Two single crochets in one stitch is known as an increase. Okay, so our repeat for this particular row will be one single crochet in one stitch, increase in the next stitch. So here we are at the beginning of our repeat again, single crochet and increase. Let's continue this repeat around till we get to the end. We have four more stitches that we will cover from the previous row. Okay, this completes this row. We would like to secure the magic circle tail, so let's go ahead and enlarge the loop so that it doesn't make our stitch fall apart. And with our tapestry needle, let's go ahead and thread the yarn through it. And then we're going to come here and pick up a few stitches. and make a knot into it. This will help so that the magic circle doesn't stretch out through use. Cut with about an inch and a half tail. And let's move on to crocheting the second row. Remove our stitch marker and in our first stitch one single crochet. This row will have a repeat as well. It'll be different than the first one we just did. So our repeat for this particular row will be one single crochet, the next one one single crochet, And then the third one will be increase. 
or two single crochet. So this one repeat is going to cover three stitches one, two, three. So we have one, one, and increase. Let's continue to do that as we go around. One, one, and increase. Continue till we get to the end of the row. And this completes this row. For our next row, we will be adding our black ear. As you can see here, we have the one black ear, so we're going to do a color change. Let's remove our stitch marker. And in our first stitch, one single crochet. This starts our new row. In our next stitch, we're going to do an increase. Let's start with one single crochet. And then for this increase, or the second single crochet, we're just going to pull up a loop and stop. Bring your yarn forward. And with the black, we won't need very much for this particular project. Have a short tail, maybe about three or four inches. Place the yarn over the hook and pull it through the last part of that single crochet. Snug up anything that you need to, and then you can take the white and bring it back to the side. We're going to start off with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip two chains. I know this is a little difficult to see, but the one on your hook does not count as a chain. You'll see your first one here and the second one. So into the third one, we're going to place a double crochet. To make a double crochet, place your finger on the loop on the hook, yarn over, pick up part of that chain, pull the loop through, yarn over through the first two loops on your hook, and then the next two loops on your hook. This will make the widest part of the bottom of the ear. In our next chain, we're going to do one half double crochet. To do a half double crochet is the same thing. Place your finger on the loop, yarn over, pick up a part of the next chain, yarn over, pull the hook through the chain, this time through three loops on our hook, we're going to take our yarn and go through all three. You'll notice that this is a little smaller than the double crochet. The next stitch will be a single crochet. So pick up the next chain, pull through with a loop, yarn over through the two on the hook, and here's our very first chain that we started with. We're going to do a slip stitch. To do a slip stitch, you make your you pull through a loop, but continue that loop through the loop that's on your hook. Okay, so here we have our little dog ear. 
Okay, so next we're going to take and drop the black. Let's cut the yarn for it. Take the white and go through that loop on the hook. Okay, and you want to snug it all up. And then we want to come back and snug up the loose black loops as well. Take and separate, snug it up, and let's place a square knot to lock it in. We can cut these to about an inch and let's move on with our white. The next stitch will be our increase. Oh, whoops. Let me let me backtrack. Okay, so this was our increase. So the next stitch will be a single crochet. Because we did the ear off of the increase with the stitch before. So this stitch is a single crochet. The next one is an increase. Okay, we want to do this repeat three times. Whoops, let's see. I made a mistake here. Okay, so single crochet into the body, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. Let me see if we if this is three times. Okay. Increase one, increase two, increase single crochet. And let's increase one more time. Let's chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to skip two chains. One, two, and double crochet into the third chain. Half double crochet into the next chain. I went down too far. single crochet and then slip stitch single crochet into the next stitch increase and we're going to repeat this till we get to our stitch marker which is two more times. So single crochet, increase, single crochet, and increase. So, moving on to our next row, let's do one single crochet, and replace our stitch marker, we 
one single crochet and in our next stitch increase this increase will cover the next stitch we are going to skip this black one so this increase will cover for this one we're going to pull our ear forward and into the white one we'll pick up our next stitch make it a little snug we don't want no stuffing to come out through that hole we're going to do 10 single crochets so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten <clears throat> In our next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And we're going to skip the single crochet here and go all the way to the next one over. Make sure it's a little snug. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. On this row, we should have 24 single crochets. Please count your stitches and we will move on to our next row. Our next row will consist of just 24 single crochet around. Please remember to always mark the first of your row and 24 single crochets around. On this row we will be adding our little bumps let me show you here for our nose so here's our little bumps it's like our little snout so we will be adding that for this row start off with our first single crochet and continue till we have a total of nine so here's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to do a bobble stitch into our next stitch this is a, uh, a cluster type stitch with um, double crochets that are not completed until the last of it. So place your finger on the loop on your hook, yarn over, and into this stitch we're going to be using this hole for each one of these stitches. Pull up a loop, yarn over through two loops on the hook. This is half of that double crochet. It's not completed yet, but we're going to do this a total of three more times. So yarn over into that same hole, pull up a loop, yarn over through two. Okay, we're gonna do it two more times. And if you're wondering why I placed my finger on there, on all these stitches, it helps the tension as well, okay? So one, two, three, let's do it one more time. 
yarn over through the two okay we have five loops on our hook now what I do is I'll take it yarn over aim the hook down hold your work here and push up and pull through all those stitches okay and to make it look like a bobble is when we do our next stitch single crochet into that next stitch there so fold it over pull up a loop and complete the single crochet now if it's on the inside like this all you gotta do is take your finger and push it through or if you're like me without any fingernails because I haven't been to the salon take a pen and push it through okay so here's our first bobble make sure that single crochet is tight so snug it up in our next stitch we're going to do that bobble again so yarn over and into that next stitch and let's pull up a loop yarn over through two yarn over pull up a stitch or pull up a loop yarn over through two okay we're going to do this two more times all right we have our five loops on the hook so yarn over aim the hook down and push up and pull it through and then we're going to go to that single cro <coughs> single crochet into the next stitch excuse me and snug it up and I'm going to push my bobble through with the closed pen again yeah I do construction work on a, in the shipyard um, the last time I went the nails fell off so <laughs> okay now we did both of the bobble stitches for our nose so to complete this we have 12 single crochets so here's one two three go ahead and continue till you get to that last stitch before and that'll complete our row please pause your video so here's a top view looking down we have our ears here and we have our nose here in the front so for the next two rows we're going to just do 24 single crochet around so continue on with two rows of single crochet all right as I was doing the beginning of my two rows I started to think well maybe somebody might not understand this the bobble stitch will have one long stitch right right here do one single crochet on that long stitch here's the short one that went the single crochet that went in between and then you have another long bobble stitch okay count those in as you go around of your 24 for each of these two rows that we're going to be doing okay I hope that helps and that there's no confusion all right so this is what we have so far don't worry we're going to add the eyes in just a minute but let's do one more row and this row we're going to add our feet so let's get our first single crochet in to begin this row and we're looking for a total of eight to begin with so here's one two three four five six seven and eight our next stitch will be the bobble stitch and this will give the illusion of his foot right here in the beginning 
So we're going to do just as we did up here with the nose, we're going to do into this next stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop through the first two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop and go through two, and yarn over for the last one. Okay, we have five loops on our hook. Let's close it off. Now we're going to do five single crochets, but on the fifth one, we're not going to complete that single crochet because we're going to do a color change. We're going to go to black so that the other paw is black. Now if you choose to keep it white, you don't have to do the color change. So here's one, two, three, four, and our fifth one, we're just going to drop a loop and bring it forward. Pull out our black, have a little tail, we're going to pull that through the stitches. And you can see how my stitch is stretched out, so we're going to tighten them back down. Into the next stitch, we're going to do the bobble stitch. The one we just did over here, we're going to do over there in black. So yarn over and into that next stitch and crochet over these tails as well. Pull up a loop through one, yarn over, pull up a loop through the two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Here's the third one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and here's the last one. Go through the two loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, and five, and yarn over. Whoops, let's stop right there. <laughs> we gotta go back to the white. We want the white to close off this stitch. Sorry, I gave the wrong impression at first. Okay, so snug up that white in case over here it didn't look right. And then pull it through all of those loops on the hook. Okay, and into the next stitch, let's do one single crochet. And then we'll get back to the the black yarn here in just a second. Let's finish off this row. We're going to do a total of eight single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Well, I was wrong. We're doing the tail this row, too. <laughs> okay, so let's do our tail. So we did our eight. Let's chain one. No, let's chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to skip that first chain right here. So into the next one, we're going to slip stitch. So we'll pull up a loop and take that loop and go right through the loop that's on the hook. We're going to do that all the way down our tail for a total of nine slip stitches. You can see it's starting to curl already, giving that dog a happy look, like he's wagging his tail.
Okay, so here's our ninth one. Okay, here's our stitch marker to remind us so we don't twist and go the wrong direction. And we're going to do one single crochet to finish this row. Okay, let's enlarge our loop and come back over here. We can twist it out just a little bit and take each one of these and snug it up. And then we're going to place a square knot on it to keep it from coming undone. Now you can leave these tails long or you can do like I'm going to do and cut them off to about an inch. So now he has one foot black and one foot white. Let's add our eyes next. Placing, placing eyes give personality to our little characters. So we can either place them close or we can go across one more. Okay, or we can go up a row, but you want them both in about the same location as to where you decide to put them for the completed look. Okay, I think I'm going to leave these right here. You'll notice that on my other ones, I have it closer to the nose, but I think it's personal choice. Plus, since I'm making so many of them, I like to give a little personality to each one of them. So after we decided where our eyes are going to go, let's push the inside out. Now you're going to want to place your finger on the knob of the, the eye on the other side. Place our um, backing on it and push. Sometimes these can be a little tight. Okay, another thing is, is if you're making the plushie and you're pushing these through, please do not allow children who chew on toys to play with this. Sometimes it can come undone, even though they're tight and they really won't come off. Um, I'd hate to have a choking incident because of a safety eye. And this even goes to the ones that you could buy in the store. Right, so after we've got our eyes on, let's go ahead and start um, closing up the bottom and then we can get ready to stuff. So to begin the closing of our bottom, let's do one single crochet. And we're going to do a decrease. So the repeat this row will be single crochet decrease. Now, in amigurumi, most people do um, invisible decreases, which I'm going to show you. An invisible decrease goes over two stitches and combines them into one. You'll notice at the top you got a back loop and a front loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the front loops of the next two stitches, like so. Pull the hook through with the yarn on it. This is like a single crochet and we're going to finish that as a single crochet. Okay, so one single crochet, one decrease, one and two front loops. Okay, continue all the way around to get back to our stitch marker. You know, sometimes I think too fast. <laughs> so here I am at the tail, and I know you're thinking, what in the world do I do here? We singled crochet, we got one stitch here, and we got one stitch over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is a decrease for the last two stitches. So I'm gonna pick up that front loop, I'm gonna drag that tail forward, 
and I'm going to manipulate that other stitch with my hook so I can have the decrease that I need. Whoops. Yes, even I have these wonderful issues, right? So this will help pull that tail away from the work. Okay, so we want to draw the loop through the two front loops that we just did. Snug up your work and complete that single crochet. And you see how the tail just sticks right up. Okay, and since I have you on, let's move to the next row, which will be two single crochets and one decrease. We will repeat that four times on this row. So, single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. Okay, so repeat that again till you get to the end of the row. We're almost done with the crocheting part, and then we'll have our stitching part next. Okay, you notice our hole is getting smaller. <laughs> we will, it will be big enough for us to stuff, I promise. Okay, so we're going to do two more single crochets, one decrease. one single crochet and one slip stitch and go ahead and cut your yarn to about 10 inches and let's get ready to stuff even though this is a small opening it's still big enough for your finger and the stuffing to fit in so here we're going to use some polyfill just take it and stuff it in there with your thumb or your finger. And we want to stuff it till it has like a firm consistency. After placing this small amount in, it may not feel firm enough, but once you um, stuff it in there, you can determine on how how you want it to be. Like this one feels kind of soft and smooshy. We want it to feel firm. So push it all the way down and help give it shape up here. And add a little bit more as you go. Yeah, that feels a lot better, okay? But you don't want to stuff it so much that the stitches start to stretch out either. Okay, so after we've done that, let's go ahead and take, let's see, where did my tapestry needle go? Here it is. It's under everything off to the side, of course. <laughs> so let's sew this thing closed. So what I like to do is I like to pick up kind of like a running stitch. So in the front loops of each one of these stitches, and we're going to do it till we get all the way around to right here. And then I'll go basically back to the center. And then we just take it and pull. And it'll pull it tight. And then we want to go around a couple of times. This will help secure it. 
just like as if it was your magic circle from the beginning. Okay. And so now here I'm going to go ahead and place a knot in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends. I know a lot of people like to bury them, but sometimes, especially with a keychain, it can cause it to work its way out. So I will take and go in between my stitches in the middle, find a row. Okay, so it's in the middle of those stitches. I don't know why, but everything seems to want to roll into the camera. Of course, if the camera wasn't on, nobody would be watching, right? <laughs> okay. So I've pulled it over. See? And our little Dalmatian is taking shape. In order for it to have its character, let's pull out the black yarn and actually give it a defined character. I made it so that my yarn is kind of long, about 24 inches, because in the process of doing the face, we're also going to be adding our little spots around. So let's go ahead and we're going to come up here from the bottom. I'm going to start here and use it for the beginning of the nose. Now don't pull it all the way through. Leave it with, with about a couple of inches right here. Let me pull my camera up closer so you can see what I'm going to do as well. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it down. And then I wanna come over just a little bit. Now you're going to find that your polyester stuffing or your polyfill is going to come through. That's okay. Once we're done, we can go ahead and fix that. Let's come across. Now, if you do have those little noses, you can place those little noses up there. But I seem to like the yarn. It gives it um, a character all by itself. So I'm going to come down here. And to make the little mouth, we're just going to come over to one side. I'm going to come over here to the other, across the bottom. And then I'm going to come up here and start making spots. And here's his little face in the beginning. I'll probably come back and fix this a little bit more so that that black won't be leaning off to the side. But to be making spots, we just want to cover over a couple of stitches. I mean, just cover over one stitch. Don't make it too tight like I just did. You want to make it so you can see it. So here I have one stitch. I'm just going to go over and just randomly place spots on our little puppy. So I'm going to encourage you to have fun doing this and while I am going to go ahead and add my spots all over the place, I'm going to encourage you to pause your video and then I'll show you how to add the chain to the top of our puppy. So I added many little spots to my Dalmatian. I'm going to add one here in the front. 
and I'm going to come over here and go out the same hole that I came in. Okay. And here we're going to tie a square knot. And then after we tie our square knot, we're going to bury the yarn ends into the body. So we've tied our square knot. Let's cut it down to about an inch. Let's take our crochet hook, go in between a stitch, and go into the same hole that that yarn is coming out of. Wrap it around and pull it in two. And then you can bury it into the stuffing and then pull your hook out. Isn't you cute? Let's add to the chain and then we'll be done. Now, adding this chain is not as hard as it's going to look. Up here in the very top center, we're going to go in through one and come out through another here. Remember, you want to go in between stitches. You do not want to go into the middle of any stitch. Then, take the big part, okay, and let the hook pull it through those holes. Now, I've done this many times, and it has worked with no problem, but you know how it is when you're on camera. It likes to do its own thing, right? <laughs> anyway, it worked for me. And then... We want to make it so that the opening is in the back. So we're going to take our little, um, the holder of all these chain balls here and lock it together. I chose red because there's really not any room to put a collar, so I chose red up here. And we've completed our little Dalmatian keychain. So, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure of making the Dalmatian either as a plushie or as a keychain. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your little keychain. So, till next time. Bye-bye. And I will have some more keychains um, in my series of keychains that I'm working on right now. So please come back and visit with me. My name is Garnet. My channel name is Garnet is a Jewel. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, you are more than welcome to be a part of my family, just like anybody else. So, till next time. Bye-bye.